So we'll go again, what we're doing now. We're carrying on from the first Thinking in Masses Bridgman video that I did a few weeks back. What I'm trying to do now is some more action poses. I'm going to concentrate on, I'm going to concentrate on trying to build figures from simple block shapes. So let's see what I can come up with. So I'm working from the references to that. Although it still requires imagination because you're not going to do, you're not going to draw directly what's in front of you. You've got to imagine the feedy construction of the thing in front of you rather than just trying to draw contours. You've got to figure out the physical structure. Give it volume. So let's start. Let's try and figure out Let's see what the overall size of this is. So yeah, something like that. Okay, so let's let's start. Let's put that in first. Again, we're using simple uh, blocks to do it. As uh, Bridgman does in his book. So I'll get that in quickly and now and see that the the back comes off like that. Back head, back edge. And this is the top face. Maybe finishes there more than there actually. The chest comes about there. As you can see, I've simplified that shape. In fact, I'm wrong there because that's too wide. Let's change the head. Let's move him. Get there in the end. That's so better. This is the point with this, though. I'm not trying to get it bang on. This is a this is my representation of what's in front of me. I'm not doing contours. I'm just trying to figure out the volumes, how to describe what's in front of me using the simplest shapes. So I'm trying to draw a square in there now. A block representing the pelvis going in now. This is giving me a lot of trouble, to be honest. Figuring out where this goes, what shape I'm actually looking at, and how the thigh is attached to that. Mm. I'm not sure what page it is, I think it's page 46 in the complete guide to drawing from live. I'll have a look on there, and just sort of some of it is. Some of Bridgman's simpler drawings that sort of show these blocks. And how they fit in the body. So that's, that's been helpful. It took me a while to figure out this, this bit. I think I'm right now. So if I put the um, let's attach. That's one thigh in. Describing the circle, the volume, the sort of cross section of the thigh. Trying to figure out where the, the end of the knee comes. No, 
how let's let's drop the oil again. If you can find these three masses, then everything else will drop into place. Okay, I'm trying to create that little shape there to give this actual depth again. This is what um, you see Bridgman doing this sort of thing with the shading. I picked charcoal as the drawing style today. I was going to do it with real charcoal. I was having trouble with the with the real camera setup, so I couldn't do it on paper. So I thought I'll get something like that in a in digital, and it won't be too far away from what I was going to do originally. I don't think I've done one of these for a while. Been on paper, but let's see how we go. So there's an angle there, and there. maybe getting too fussy now, but let's try to get as good as I can get it. Like I say it's not going to be perfect as ever, <laughs> not even perfection. So if we can get this one in now, okay, I'm trying to. Sort of see, I'm trying to see through the shape, I'm trying to imagine how much volume there is. Like I say, um, a bridge and describes the shapes is going from a square shape to a round shape, so you're going to from square head to a round neck. So you're doing that sort of thing, going to a round neck, then to a square shoulder, then a round. Rib cage, but I'm showing it as a complete block in this case, but that's how he describes it. And he's going from square to round all the way down the body. So I'm taking a bit of that advice. And what I'm doing now. So again, I'm trying to, trying to get it. Try and describe it in cubes as much as possible. Cube blocks. <laughs> I keep changing. I'm describing it from one thing to the other, but I think you know what I mean. Again, if you can put those in, those lines, put the shade in them. And just by doing that, Given that shape, let's put where the arm is. Again, trying to see through those shapes. In one into one shape, the fingers simplify that. Now again, I don't like it. I haven't the um, the right hand's just sticking out there. I want to show it more. So this is where understanding what you're looking at, having some idea of what the solid shapes are and how they connect together, means that I can hopefully. Sort of, if I put a, imagine that coming through like that, imagine we can through that box. So the left arm, so the right arm comes in here. I want to, if 
Favorites. Well, that getting away from you, that's sort of um, foreshortened perspective. And that's um, well, I'll with that, I think. Let's get rid of some of these lines. It makes it a bit easier to now have constructed. Let's get rid of that. That works better. Get rid of that. Same there. Get rid of the top of that. Hide those now. That just helps me to understand. Where things connect. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.